Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is applying GCF and LCM to fraction operations, okay? And here's our question, is how do we apply the GCF and LCM to when we add or subtract and multiply fractions? Okay, so we're not dividing until the next uh, lesson, we'll do that. So here, uh, to multiply two fractions, we multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So for example, one-fifth times uh, two-thirds, we multiply one times two, 5 times 3. Okay, so we get 2 fifteenths right there. So sometimes the resulting product may need to be written in simplest form. And to do this, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor, their GCF. So example 1 shows will show two methods uh, for making sure that the product of two fractions is in simplest form. So, so here's example one right here. We're going to multiply these. So we'll go ahead and do what we did in the last one. We'll do on this one, one times three over three times five. Okay, so one times three is three, and then three times five is 15. Now this is not simplified right here because uh, we can divide both three and 15 by a common uh, GCF, a greatest common factor of three. So if we divide the top by 3 and the bottom by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so the simplest answer is 1 fifth. Well, here's another way. Here's uh, part B right here. So uh, the other way is to recognize that, look at this 6 and this 3 right here. So um, the 6 in the numerator and the 3 in the denominator, they both have a GCF of 3. So what we can do is instead of multiplying straight across right here and then and then reducing later, we can reduce at the at, right at the beginning right here. Then we don't get bigger numbers. So, so 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 6 two times. So they reduce to these numbers. Now we can do 2 times 2 over 7 times 1 right there, okay? So then uh, 2 times 2 is 4, 7 times 1 is 7, so that'll give us 4 sevenths right there. I love this method the best, because that way we don't get big numbers that we have to worry about reducing later, okay? So compare the two methods in example 1. How do we know if we can use uh, the method in example, uh, or the method in B right there? Well, here's A right here. So in A, we simplified the final product. We went ahead and multiplied Applied 1 times 3 over over 3 times 5 and we got 3 fifteenths and then we simplified this final product by dividing by the GCF of 3 right there so we got 1 fifth right there well in this method right here uh, we divided first by the GCF the 3 goes into 3 and the 3 goes into 6 right there and then we're left with reduced answers right there so to answer the question we can use the method in B if the numerator in one fraction and the denominator in another fraction they share a common GCF and then you can uh, cancel them out so let's I'm going to use that method on all of them that I can okay and we're going to multiply and, and uh, write the products in simplest form okay so can you see a 3 and a 6, then we can pull a 3 out right there, so let's do that right there. 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into uh, 6 twice right there, so we're left with 1 times 1, 2 times 5, we get 1 tenth right there, okay? This one right here, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and so we're left with uh, 1 times 7, 4 times 3, we get 7 twelfths right there. Okay, here, these 3's cancel, they just cancel to 1's right there, so we're left with 2 7's, okay? Here, let's see, 4 and 7, no, 4 and 5, no, nothing cancels right here, so we just got to multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 7 is 35, 8 35ths, okay. Here, uh, uh, 7 goes into 7 once, it goes into 21 three times. How about these two guys? What number goes into these two guys? 2 does. 2 goes into that 4, into that 5 times. So when you reduce, uh, they get, the numbers get smaller and we don't have to reduce at the end. So 1 times 4, this red 1 times the blue 4 over 5 times 3, we get 4 fifteenths. Okay, here the 6 is canceled. We're left with 1 seventh right there. Okay, easy, huh? All right, so to multiply a fraction by a whole number, we can rewrite the whole number as a fraction, a fraction over 1, and then multiply the two fractions. And then remember, if we can use a GCF to uh, cancel, then we uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's an example. A class of eight, a class has 18 students. The teacher uh, asks the class how many students in the class have pets and she finds or he finds that five-ninths of the students have pets so how many students have pets okay so we can estimate this by using the bench the benchmark that's close to five-ninths well five-ninths five is is 
almost half a nine. It's a little bit more than half a nine. So this a benchmark that's close to five nines is one half. Okay, so one half times 18 or one half of 18 equals nine. So as long as we get an answer that's close to nine, we should be good. Okay, so here we're going to do five ninths. Uh, five ninths of 18 is the same as five ninths times 18. Okay, and then nine goes into nine. Nine goes into 18 two times. So we get uh, five times two over one times one. So 10. So there's 10 students that have pets in the class right there. Okay, so let's multiply and uh, write the products in simplest form. Okay, so now remember, 24 is the same as 24 over 1, and this is the same as 8 over 1. This is the same as 7 over 1 right there. So let's go ahead and rechange those right there, and then 8 goes into 8 once, into 24 three times right there. Okay, and we're left with 5 times 3 over 1 times 1, or 15. Here nothing cancels, so we get 8 thirds right there, and then 8 thirds reduces to 3 goes into 8 two times with 2 left over, so 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, and then this one, uh, let's see, nothing reduces, so 37 times 7. Well, I use uh, the distributive property right here, okay? 37 times 7, 37 is the same as 30 plus 7. So 30, here's 37 right here, and 7 times 30 is 210, because 7 times 3 is 221. And then 7 times 7 is 49, so we have 210 plus 49 is 259. So uh, 259 over 10. Well, 10 goes into 259 25 times with 9 left over. So 25 and 9 tenths right there. Okay, you can multiply other ways. I like that way the best. All right, so recall when adding and subtracting fractions, we needed to have common denominators. Do you remember that? So that's where our LCMs come in. Okay, so here... We want to find the LCM of 15 and 6. We can't add these unless we have common denominators. So I like taking the bigger denominator, which is 15, and start listing uh, multiples of 15 until we get a multiple that uh, uh, 6 goes into. Okay, so here's uh, factors of 15, or multiples of 15, actually. 15 times 1, 15 times 2, here's 15 times 3. This should say multiples right there, sorry, not factors, multiples right there, okay? I'll do that right here just in case, So, and this will change you guys in the next slides. Okay, and same with this one, this should also say multiples right here, okay? All right, anyways, so can you see that their least common multiple is at 30 right there? So we'll multiply this one by 2 over 2 and this one by 5 over 5 right there, okay? So there we go. So um, uh, 8 fifteenths is 16 over 30 and 1 6 is 5 over 30. So we can add 16 over 30 plus 5 over 30 right there. And that's going to give us uh, 21 over 30 because we just add the numerators once we get common denominators. And then can you think of a number that goes into 21 and 30? 3 does. So let's divide them by, down by 3 right there, and we should get 7 tenths. Okay, let's try that uh, with this one right here. So can we use the LCMs of the denominators uh, to rewrite the, the difference? 8 fifteenths times 1 6? Well, sure we can. We can just change those to, remember in the last uh, uh, piece right there, we got 16 thirtieths for 8 fifteenths and 5 thirtieths. So 16 minus 5 is 11, so we get 11 thirtieths right there. All right, so let's add or subtract, and we're going to write the summer difference in simplest form right here, okay? So I, again, I like to do the, the bigger numbers, so let's list all the factors, and I hope I said factors. Did I say multiples? I factors, I'm sorry, multiples. This should say multiples again. Darn me. Multiples. Multiples. I'll abbreviate right there. So multiples of 14 are 14, 28, and 42, and I know 6 goes into 42 seven times. So we'll multiply this one by 3 over 3, okay? And we'll multiply this one by 7 over 7. These are just 1. We're just multiplying by 1, okay? So 3 times 5 is 15 over 42, and then we get 7 over 42. So now we can go ahead and add those to get 22 over 42. Okay, is there a number that goes into both those? Yeah, 2 does. So let's divide them down by 2, so we get 11 over 21 right there. Okay, let's uh, list, uh, and I probably said factors, let's do multiples of 20. So multiples of 20, uh, you guys get the picture, multiples of 20. Sorry, you guys. Multiples of 20 are 20 times 1, 20 times 2, 20 times 3 is 60, and I know 12 goes into 65 times, so we'll multiply this one by 5 over 5, and this one by 
3 over 3. 5 times 5 is 25, and then 3 times 3 is 9, so 25 minus 9 is 16. And then what number goes into both of those? Well, 2 does, but then a bigger number, the, uh, the biggest number is 4. So 4, we'll divide them both by 4, and we get uh, 4 fifteenths. Okay, here the common denominator is 15, so we'll multiply this one by 5 over 5, and this one by 3 over 3 right there, okay? So we get uh, 10 fifteenths and 6 and 3 fifteenths. So now we can add 10 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths gets us 13 fifteenths. Don't forget about the 6, okay? All right, this one, common denominator is 42, so multiply by 7 over 7, this one by 6 over 6, and we get... Uh, 3 and 7 over 42 minus 6 over 42 and then 7 minus 6 is is 1 over 42 okay all right so um, uh, find uh, each amount okay remember the word of in math you guys means multiply so these guys just mean 1 fourth times 12 over 1 3 fifths times 60 over 1 okay so let's go ahead and do this 4 goes into 12 3 times so we're going to go ahead and reduce and we get by we get 3 Okay, 5 goes into tw uh, 60 uh, 12 times, so we're left with 3 times 12, or 36. Okay, let's do factors of 14. Did I say factors? I meant multiples of 14. Okay, multiples of, hey, I did it right. Multiples of 14, or 14 times 1, 14 times 2. Finally, 14 times 5 is 70. So I know 10 goes into 70. We'll multiply this one by 5 or 7 over 7 to get 70. This one by 5 over 5 to get 70. Okay, so here we get uh, 9 times 7 is 63 over 70. 3 times 5 is 15 over 70. And then 63 minus uh, 15 is 48. And then can you think of a number that goes into both those? Yeah, 2 goes into both of those. Um, so when we divide by 2, we get 24 over 35. Okay, sorry about the fast lesson, you guys, but, but there's a lot there, and I had to get it in. So sorry. Take care.